Welcome back to Tactics Talk with Guido. I appreciate you tuning in and your support of the channel. Got a good one here for you. This is going to be a 8,500 damage game. It's going to do several things for me. It's going to give me my first mark on my tier 9 Chinese TD. It's going to be an ace tanker and I am also going to finish my object 270 mission with this game as well. Loaded into Corellia and I am going to sit back. For the most part I've used this as an assault TD but for this map there's a pretty good spot for TDs back here so I'm going to see what I can do. Get some lights from that 110 on the 4502. He actually gets around the corner before I can get this thing turned around and pointed at him. And I will sit here now looking for any shots that I can get. You can see that we spawned in the northeast on Corellia. Drop one in on the low. Unfortunately that Panther 2 is now coming up. I'm a little bit worried that he's just about close enough to spot me, but not quite. If he gets a little closer though, I'm going to be seen. You can see the low is coming in again. We'll drop one there onto the KV-4. And we're up to about 1500 damage. Now these guys are pushing in, so that's a little concerning. Let's see if I can take one more shot on one of these guys. And not a great shot. He was highly angled. I kind of shoot it into his side right there. Probably should have shot at the, the one of the slower tanks. Maybe the IS-6. And I'm going to have to preserve my standoff here. I don't want to get spotted. The thing has pretty good armor, but as you can see, there are a lot of enemy tanks right there, so concentrated fire on me eventually that would whittle me down if I'm seen too soon. But they're pushing hard, and you can see most of their team is down here. Let's see what I can do to keep them back. Not really the best shot. The Panther II looks like it was actually a better shot. I'll just shoot and retreat. Pretty good pen on this gun, so I'm not too worried right now about trying to get gold going. Another one lobbed in. Looks like it missed the IS-6 and went into the spaced armor of the Super Pershing. And I'll just keep backing up looking for damage. That's quite a few bounces and misses there, so I've lost a bit of damage there but there's another hit 2700 just shoot and retreat the 110 is still alive that is going to help as long as he's alive in the 4502 i'll get some lights in here it's too bad that scorpion in fact he actually comes back i probably could have hit him but i'll keep backing up definitely an option to go to he here i didn't use to kill off the scorpion and I knew I was going to get spotted. The Scorpion kind of pushes in. I'm just about reloaded. I'm bouncing some shots. So I'm going to see what I can do. He tucks up in there, unfortunately, behind a rock. So I'll just go ahead, drop one in on there. And I actually took a bit of damage there. So the 122.54 is still lighting them up. Quite a few guns there. But as I reload, I'm going to try to get in here and see if I can't get a little bit more damage. I'd love to take the Scorpion out, but he's around the corner there. Drop one in on the super. And it looks like the 12244 is going down and my team is having a bad day. So I'm at 4,953 and I've got four tanks pushing me. I am attempting to keep as much standoff as possible. So I'm just going to back up here. Hopefully someone comes around that corner and I can pop them. There he is. Oh, I just missed him. So a little bit rushed on that. Surprised he didn't come around the corner, so either he didn't notice me or maybe he was shooting at somebody like the 1390 or no, he probably not shooting at him. So I'll just back up here. For some reason, this guy comes around the corner and I miss. So two more missed shots, unfortunately. I'll just get up on top here. Maybe this guy is foolish enough to come around the corner again. Let's stop here. Yeah, looks like he might be. I'm just about reloaded. And we get him. Finally, one of my little snaps works out for me. That one was probably about the worst of them. Now the super's coming up. And the depression on this tank is a little depressing. Looks like over to the left I might have had a better time of it. I'm just going to come over here, get this thing zoomed in, see what I can do. Bounce off of him. And obviously, I've got, I had three down in front of me, so more than likely, some of those guys are going to be trying to get around me. Unfortunately, that bush is stopping me from seeing him, or he's gone around the corner. 
and I'm up to 5,326 at this point. All is not lost, although I've already told you what's going to happen. Right now we're doing okay. I actually had kind of a hope that we might be able to pull this out, especially since the guys up in the northwest were kind of staying alive. But the big mistake they made was continuing to push. If the 59, the Super, and the IS-6 had come back to cap, or at least stayed where the low was, we probably would have had a chance. But as you can see, the guys that were pushing me, at least some of them flexed back over to the other side. And now I'm getting a little bit worried about what is going on. And holy cow, it looks like the Scorpion has pushed up and he's looking at me. So I'll go ahead and spin. He misses, thankfully. And now I've got to push him. So I, I really can't let him sit there and corner me for too long. Because the lo as long as I'm sitting here and he's kind of keeping me in one spot, that gives the rest of his buddies a chance to come and flank me. So I'm just going to have to throw caution to the wind a little bit here and see if I can't get out this Scorpion G real quick. I'm not really sure where he is, but I see this dude. And another lucky shot there. Most big damage games have some of those in there. And a couple fully aimed shots bounced or missed. And a couple of snapshots of hit. So not quite reloaded. Would have been nice. Holy cow, there's another guy right there. So I'll just come at him. What I didn't want to do was go after the Scorpion and get hit in the side a bunch by the Super, but unfortunately I'm not quite able to kill the Super Pershing right there. And I'm trying to maintain a little distance, get reloaded on this Super and get him dead. There we go. Hopefully the Scorpion misses. There we go. That helps out. And now we'll chase this Scorpion and we got a little ring around the rosy thing going on here. Good news is I've got a friend back there who finally comes through and we end up taking down the Scorpion G. Still looking okay. 6,300 defending the cap. Lost a couple hit points doing that. About half of what I had or so. And there goes our IS-6. So as noted earlier, if those three tanks had not continued to push cap, and there was no reason for it whatsoever. Based on how badly we were losing, they should have all flexed back to the cap. And had they flexed back to the cap, we probably could have cleaned it up, and then we'd have been just dealing with about even numbers at this point if we'd have kept any of them alive. So my concern was these guys that were in the middle would be coming up on my flank. But they are some guy, there are some guys still trolling around the middle, so I've got to make a decision. I'm going to come down here and see if I can find these guys. 122.54 says snipe mid, and, and that's a good idea, but I really felt like I needed to check right here. I just wanted to see if I was going to get somebody up on my side. And then I see it. KB4, ST1, T54. It looks like the whole crowd of them are heading in there towards the low. I type worried about this way. And then, holy cow, all of a sudden I find the low. Who actually had got past me a little bit and just really end game there. I end up finding this guy. And we'll just go ahead and auto-aim this dude. I bounce and we take him down. That gets us up to 6,544. Unfortunately, that gets me lit, and there's all of them. Pretty much everything they've got is over there, it looks like. So I am coming over. And see if I can't get a light on them. But unfortunately, they just took out our scout, and that really hurts. And the low is on low hit points, and he's hurting. He's at 14%. And I usually run with the hit points showing, but the replays default to percentage. All right, there's the 54. So let's see if we can get a shot on him. Nope, can't quite see him. There he goes. Put one on him, maybe. There we go. That gets us up to 7,252. Repositioning and looking for a shot on one of these guys. Spin around. I need to get gun on so I can see where they are before I reload. And I don't know what happened there. Now I'm just backing up at this point. This is looking pretty grim. Five kills, 7,252 damage. The 54 is probably the biggest problem. Obviously, if they all come at me at once, I'm going to have issues go down pretty quickly. But the T-54 has the opportunity to go right around me, especially if I can't kill him in one shot. 
And if he is coming up and over the top, as I slowly back up here, I could have trouble. I'm really hoping that I can get up top and into the corner before they show up. I keep on backing. Nobody on my left. They're probably going to show up on my right. There we go. So I'm feeling a little better about where I am right now. And there's the 54. Holy cow. RNG, do not fail me now. Thank you. And now we'll spin around here. Lost some more hit points. But once again, they know exactly where I am. Now I think I'm going to be tricky. I want to come around on their side, but all of a sudden, nope, there is somebody up top already. So here comes the T10, unfortunately. He hammers me. I put a shot into him. That's 8,400. And what I was really hoping is maybe a ram kill, but he slows down at the last moment. And now all my all I'm hoping for is trying to get my gun in his way, but he actually does a nice job and switches his gun over to the side of my superstructure on the, the wide side of my superstructure, which you can see there's... The gun's actually offset a little bit, and he shot right into that flat bit right there. And it was flattened a little bit because he was looked down up above me like that. So I ended up with about 8,528. 2,460 blocked. Six kills, and unfortunately a loss. But as you'll see, ends up being an ace master. I get my first mark of excellence on it. And even better than all that, I end up with my object 260. Pretty fun little game, even though I lost... Well, I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you learned something. And if you did, make sure you subscribe. And as always, we will see you.